where do your children spend most of their time? If it is internet, what channel are they watching? If it is at school, what are they teaching them? What kind of school are they going? Who is their teacher? What kind of impartation is their teacher giving them? If it is in the church, what kind of doctrine are they imparting on them? So these are the things that you have to check made about your children to know what is influencing them. The joy of every parent is to raise godly and prosperous children who are responsible to their families and the society at large. My name is Okochapi Marcel. I take part in raising children. I have so many children under my care, not as my biological children, but children that I'm taking care of because I love children. And I love to take care of children because I know that when we have godly children today, we are going to have a future so goodly, prosperous, and full of goodly things, not evil. So because of that, I've decided to start talking on how to raise children. Because I have few children that are under my care, and I discovered that they are totally different from a lot of children who are out there. Not because they have something so special about them, but it's because of one thing, influence. You as a mother or you as a father, I want to talk to you about influence. There is nothing that changes children than what influences them. When I'm talking about what influences them, I'm talking about what they hear most, what they see most, and what they practice most. You know, there are lies that you and I have been told. When I was in secondary school, I, I was taught in my social studies that there are three major areas of socialization that you could socialize your children on the way to go, or your, your children could be socialized. They are the family, the church, and the school. But today, I can boldly tell you that what they told us so many years ago have changed and it has become a lie. Today, the major area of socialization is the internet. Now, you as a mother or you as a father, how many hours or how many minutes do you have with your children every day? It could be less because you have to go to work, you have to go and provide for them what to eat, you have to go out to work to make money to train them, to give them a better life. Then when you are away to work, when you are away to school, when you are away to do businesses to raise money, do you know what your children do? Even when you think that they are in school, when their teacher will leave them, do you know what they could be doing? So, I'm talking about what influences your children, what they hear, what they see, and what they practice most. You see, you have the remote to the television, and you have thousands of channels on your television, but the channel you turn to is the channel you will listen to. You have so many channels on your YouTube where your children watch, but you have to make a decision on the channel they will watch. Everything that you are doing about your children today will directly affect them tomorrow. You have to take the responsibility of shaping them on what they hear, what they see, and what they practice. Any little thing children are learning in this their tender age, when they grow with it, when it influences them, when it goes down into their subconscious mind, you will find it difficult to erase. That is where you start having troubles in changing your children. Because right from the beginning, you did not take cognizance of what they are seeing every day, what they are practicing every day. Often, children do not grow with what you tell them. They grow with what they see and what they practice. So, be careful and work on what is influencing your children. And another way around, when I'm talking about what is influencing your children, I'm also talk talking about where do your children spend most of their time? If it is internet, what channel are they watching? If it is at school, what are they teaching them? What kind of school are they going? Who is their teacher? What kind of impartation is their teacher giving them? If it is in the church, what kind of doctrine are they imparting on them? So these are the things that you have to check made about your children to know what is influencing them. I want you to stay with me on this series. 
and I will continue to bring you wonderful videos about raising a godly children. I am Okocha Happy Marcel. See you on my next video. Shalom.